big hug. <laughs>
later. Yeah. I don't I don't Later, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vloggy vlog. <laughs> We've been through a lot, guys. <laughs> if only you knew. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you so much. I love that you don't have to ask about that. <laughs> when I say I've been through a lot today, let me tell you something. That is an understatement. I can't even begin to explain to you guys. And then the hell I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about it in my vlog because you know positive vibes, vlogmas, what a what a what a. But Tana, I'm fighting for my life, trying to remain positive. And Usiba was there with me today because Ben Goa she came to my house today because Ben Goa and when I say my friends don't care they will pull up on me okay my friends don't care they will pull up on me <laughs> if my hello sounds off they will pull up <laughs> they will make sure that I'm good and I appreciate them so much did I tell you my roof caved my roof in my brand new apartment it caved I had a pipe burst and my roof caved so we are currently dealing with that and yeah that's what I'm saying like your plans I was having a good day I was having a good day well I was forcing myself to have a good day because this thing had already happened it happened Saturday I mean Sunday Sunday when I was vlogging that's when it happened it started actually happening the camera was on and I just switched it off and I was like okay let me get this together and I thought like it's gonna be a simple fix so that's what I'm currently dealing with and to be honest I do not have the capacity Sorry, I do not have the capacity to deal with that. So my favorite Malume is coming tomorrow to help me up out with that. He's because I feel like the contractors, the the workers, the developer and everyone, they're not taking me serious. Like because they don't explain things that are happening properly to me enough. They don't <laughs> Uningi and I'm just a girl in the world and Oputumieni would be here but one he doesn't know anything about plumbing construction and all that type of vibe and two he has to work because <laughs> so yeah and luckily my uncle is off for the next couple of days so he's gonna come tomorrow to just make sure that the right and those guys are doing the right thing fixing the place so tonight we are spending the night with Mrs. Moloko because Zizi like I said earlier Zizi is in town I'm actually driving to her now that's the tea I'm spending the night at Zizi's hotel um yeah. yeah guys all life of Alabama dies sometimes oh with hence I haven't been able to give you guys a proper sit down video about like my home buying experience because my home buying experience has not been good it has not been good this is supposed to be a happy time this is supposed to be this is my first home um like it's supposed to be a positive thing and it has not been a positive experience for me and i've been like 
trying to be positive trying to take the lessons as they come trying to be you know approach the, the situation with the positive attitude but sana i am crumbling but anyway let's go to mrs moloko bangase i will chat to you guys i feel like the screen is dirty i'll clean it and i'll chat to you guys when i get to z some takeouts for dinner I got some ribs and some tink I don't know my pajamas it's hardly comfortable I forgot oh my god I thought I'm asking you to because I, I, I don't have shower I've been using my husband's shower gel for a few days now because my shower gels are finished and then I thought, okay, I'll thingy. I'll ask for Namco to bring her when she comes to You see. know, I only came with the side dress. I took the side dress, I put it in this bag. <laughs> I put it anything else. And it didn't click to me that this was coming down. Oh my god. And I thought I thought of asking me to please bring shower, but I thought, okay, no, she'll she'll bring it because she has to shower in the morning. My friend, I think they are gore. <laughs> In the end, I think I didn't even register in your mind. Nothing is registering, let me tell you. Bring 
anything to the room. So I was like, okay, so then I was going to go get the Yeah, was wrong, It's the fact that you put the patch and you said in a in the morning. Somebody from like <laughs> oh guys it's taking everything in me to maintain a smile on my face because what is going on in my life right now oh my god but anyway this is Otini God decided Uba I am his strongest soldier positive vlog positive girl positive vibes positive vibes to you guys and I'm also receiving from you guys because but like Zizi says sometimes vlogging can uplift one's spirit and that's one thing that you guys probably don't know that you do for me a lot um yeah it's taking everything in me to rally up but because i'm vlogging i have to do it for you guys <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> i don't want to wallow into those feelings today is the next day yesterday i slept at zizi's apartment i mean not apartment zizi's hotel because like i told you my apartment is currently in a state to say the least my apartment is in a state i actually cannot believe my life in hindsight i'm glad i haven't gotten a couch yet i mean i didn't get a couch i haven't like fin fin finished furnishing my house but anyway i slept at this hotel because my roof caved in and um it's gonna take a while for them to fix it i found out today that it's not a day's job to fix it it's going to take a very long time as a result they are putting me in a different unit in the same building but in a different unit until they finish fixing what they need to fix so that means we have to be moving houses which is crazy to me like moving was not in the cards for me 
for December 2023 because I did that last year and it almost broke me if you guys remember if you're an OG you probably remember that last year December Dandy Goa Dandy Goa like <laughs> Then go guys, then go then go. If you wanna know, go watch the previous vlogs when I was moving out of my apartment, not knowing where I'm gonna stay, when my transfer for my <clears throat> current apartment was taking longer than it should, and like I was homeless for a little bit, like then go. So I did not anticipate that this year literally 365 days later i'm exactly where i was last year <sighs> but anyway like i said we are not wallowing in those feelings um so we are moving apartments and then i'm gonna go on my holiday and then we'll see Enya Nenya in 2024 i am hoping that by the time that i come back they'll be done fixing my unit and then we'll have to move again and the gag is that this developer that has caused this mess in my life is not offering is not even offering to pay for my movers he just said i'm giving you an apartment and that's the least that i can i can do and i am doing the least so that's that's where we are um i'm here now to pick up zizi because we are going to grand pavilion we're going to grab late early dinner i could say late lunch early dinner because it is now half past six and i have to pick up my uncle remember i told you my uncle is coming from platinum big bay to help me out in this mess I'm so grateful he's gonna be here because Kuning he... Yingyuan and I'm just a girl in the world. So yeah, that's the tea. <coughs> that is the tea chat. My my uncle is coming later on. And I'm yeah, about... red heart. Cherry blossom. Dear I'm right outside, um, by reception. By, by where? Yeah, we're not reception, yeah, Oh, okay. All right, see you now. Um, yeah, so that's the tea. I'm going with Zizi to Grand Pavilion. This is Zizi's last night here in Cape Town to today. So we really wanted to do something. And then at eight, the reason why we're doing early dinner is because at 8 I have to go pick up my uncle and then we'll go home. I'm probably going to spend a night with Zizi because like I said, it's her, it's her last night here in Cape Town. In Asia, I'm wearing this dress from Fashini. I saw this dress from Seseto. I was like, Yaidinga. And I got it. So I'm wearing it now. I'll try and get a, a full OOTD for you guys when Zizi and I are at the are at the restaurant. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It is still a beautiful day to be alive, though. God is still good. Um.
friend of mine who saw you just the other day. Oh, I guess that you were back in town. It's been a long time since you've been around. Remember when we used to make the streets unsafe together, baby? We were young and foolish then. Oh, how I wish we could go back again. Not to touch your heart Hope for a maybe I get a one-way ticket Down the memory lane There are two hearts beating Just nothing will ever be the same We had a chance, babe To work it all out But we blew it on our foolish pride And now I wanna scream and shout I love that I love you Wanna shout Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's the next day, Sana. Yesterday, Umalume and I had a good time. <laughs> we had too much fun, you Sana. Yo, we probably went to bed at like 3 a.m. What if I do Bro, did you shut this guy's been drinking a lot? So I'm gonna have a little cure. Oh, what else? I said the passion you got me. Look, I'm in South Africa. <laughs> can't tell to Sarana for the win. <laughs> Yo! This one is heavier than the other one. Mm, so I want to know which one's gonna be. <laughs> Whatever it is, it means you must start it first. So you keep it the amarula taste nice. Nice. It smells nice. It will be nice that combination, I'm telling you. Sweet, okay. It will be nice. I'm telling you, that's nice. It's actually really nice. I told you. I know my friend. It's really nice. It's so delicious. Okay, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a shot of the sarana with amarula is so nice. Exactly. So that's our new invention. That's our new invention. Yeah. <laughs> Next time when you go for Is it half half? Half half. <laughs> oh here's my class. Here's my class. Here's my class. Okay. Ooh, I say it's so creamy. It's so creamy. Let's try it. Hey. Mm, it's, Yo, it's so nice and creamy. Taste of Africa. <laughs> mm. Nice. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you said nice. You're from it nice. Is, it's refreshing. It is refreshing. You are real, is that this is our vocabulary. <laughs> Oh, so it's right back. <laughs> it's right back. Oh, that's four. <laughs> I'll jump in the car with my pajamas. It's right back. I'm not going to bite. I'm not going to bite. I'm not going to bite. You know, it's going to be good, isn't it? Yo. You let me know. It is. Bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way. <laughs> It's nice. It is nice. 
But it's bitter with the amarula only. only. Okay, I just want to see the taste of that orange. Mmm. Mind you, amarula. It's very fresh. The taste of Africa. <laughs> it's very fresh. <laughs> you see, it's almost too much. Why is it this color? It's like peach. How did you get this peachish color? It's so pretty. Right, this is the afternoon recap. How do you describe alcohol? Oh, it's so pretty. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I got the taga easy as in John Dango. We have to wake up in like four well, hours. Now you're off tomorrow. Oh, no. Mm. I knew I wasn't even off today. <laughs> Belly, cheers. Ching, ching. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Mm. We were playing. Okay, he was making a couple of cocktails, and like he, we were experimenting. So, Yo, know, yeah. But it's the next day. Yesterday, at least, even though it was like exhausting because we were moving. At the end of the day, my uncle and I went to Tiger's Milk to. We had some burger, we had a burger and a pizza, and we shared. And then we came back, had some cocktails, it was so fun, and we were chatting it up. And we went to bed at like 3 a.m. But today is another day, another dollar. Today is a Friday, and I'm feeling a little bit tired, but I'm trying to push myself because. Work still needs to be done and also I'm doing vlogmas so at some point today I'm gonna edit so that's the plan today I'm not going outside my house I have no plans of going anywhere we're just gonna chill at home I'm just gonna do my do what I need to do make sure that I also edit in fact my goal is to finish editing um, Sunday's vlog vlogmas episode three um yeah that's the plan for the day so i don't know if i'll be vlogging much today but i just wanted to come and check in and i will talk to you guys soon two days later morning morning sana if you follow me on instagram you will know that i had the worst weekend ever today is a sunday i'm going to church i'm wearing this dress that i was wearing at the photography event and i do feel self-conscious because i feel like it's not church appropriate <laughs> and it's not what i was planning on wearing but oh i don't even know what you know and what you don't know long story short the vlogs that i've been vlogging for the past couple of days i lost them and also my ceiling fell apart so I had to move to a different unit and my life is pretty much all over the place but I'm still trying to maintain a positive attitude I spent my weekend literally crying the entire weekend and I decided that today is a Sunday I need to wake up go praise the Lord and try and salvage what's left of the weekend because yeah I feel like if I stay in bed today I'm probably gonna feel worse I'm probably gonna continue to cry and we, we, <laughs> we're not doing that I don't even have my mirror so son this is the dress that I wore at the thingy event but it has cut out on the side I'm just trying to pull them so that it's not gonna guy and I'm taking this purse and I'm wearing these shoes. I'm wearing these shoes from Zara. Let's go praise the Lord and everything will be fine. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. I have come ye, come ye to Let us adore him. Come, let us adore.
adore Him Come let us adore Him Christ the Lord Just finished at church Again, I'm using Zappa to pay for my parking. There you go. But I love this Zappa thing. Church was so good today. Let me just share a little bit. So, the message was basically what kind of people, what kind of Christians are we ought to be? And the main thing is we ought to be or we have to be people that look ahead imagine imagine i came to church today and i was feeling so horrible because of everything that has been happening in the past couple of days to me um i didn't understand why everything was falling apart all at the same time and creating content has been one thing that has been literally keeping me sane because i felt like everything else is falling apart and like I don't know like creating content and spending time with you guys like vlogging has been some form of therapy for me one it lifts my spirit it lifts my mood it makes me feel better Two, I don't know I feel like when I talk about things happening allows me to pro process them at a much fa faster rate so when my hard drive crashed that's what happened yesterday I was in a rush in the morning to tell you um, to tell you guys on Friday when we last spoke I decided okay let me create content I mean I decided well okay let me start editing si Sunday's vlog because I knew that yesterday I was supposed to meet up with Usiba you know I wanted to also be free so that I can enjoy my weekend but also continue to vlog because I was attempting to do vlogmas and then I started editing and when I was done editing my vlog which took about 12 hours to edit literally when i was finished my hard drive crashed this was friday um evening my hard drive crashed and then i spent the rest of the evening trying to fix it i and i realized that i actually cannot fix it and i may have possibly lost my vlog but not only that vlog but six other vlogs combination of vlogs and sit down videos that i had created in the middle of the week in spite of everything that was happening and i was so happy with myself because i was pushing myself i was looking ahead and i was like you know what let me do what i need to do and also it was keeping me sane so when i when my hard drive crashed i crashed <laughs> i felt like i crashed like i literally fell apart like i've never been that broken over in Indonesia in my life but I realized I wasn't just broken because of the hard drive I was broken because I wasn't understanding oh my god I don't want to cry oh I was so broken because I didn't understand why like I was working so hard and it was as if like all my hard work was going to like the bin and the fact that I was working hard in the midst of one literally a pipe bursting in my brand new apartment even that I got that apartment because like you know trying to get yourself out of one poverty providing a home for yourself and also it was also all the hard work I had done over the years like for me it was a symbol of like you know things are getting better I'm working towards something and I bought this brand new apartment from the developer and I've been having issues with them since I mean I've been having issues with this unit since and hence I haven't spoken about it like even though like I've received so many requests just to talk about my home buying process I haven't been able to talk about it because I don't even know what I'm doing but it's fine so my then when my ceiling literally my pipe burst and my ceiling literally came off my roof and that was like the worst traumatic experience of my life all my furniture is there i'm just by myself i don't know 
what to do literally i didn't know like oh my god and like <sighs> yeah so if you don't know my my man is not here we are long distancing a little bit we're still trying to figure that out as well so like i felt so alone oh. but he is not like he was there the entire time and hence he literally got my uncle to come because my uncle was fortunately on leave for those days so he was like okay he booked my uncle a bus he was like i'm booking you into an airbnb but luckily he was around so i was like okay it's better i'm better off spending time at zizi's hotel i'm embarrassing myself because go come into my jungler and i'm crying in the car but anyway so my man was like okay i'm booking my your uncle to come and i'm booking you into an, into an airbnb but i was like no i'll go stay with zizi because also you know that will make me feel better and it did like i felt so much better when zizi was here and we had so much fun like even though like my score was so bad then we were there for each other and that helped <laughs> and i continued to vlog and like guys i was doing so well even this was shocked I was like my friend how are you like so positive in the midst of this and i won't lie guys it was because i was like i had something to look forward to and like i have so many deadlines at work and everything but like i was still pushing myself so when my hard drive crashed on friday i was so broken and <clears throat> but anyway <clears throat> anyway when i eventually saw obayazi me crying it's not gonna help and i was praying to god that like I had to drive my lung sick and I had to drive my lung sick and I couldn't fall asleep like I kept getting up and going to sit at my desk and trying to fix it I watched so many videos trying to fix it and I, and I don't know how many times I prayed that night and then eventually I felt at peace and then I was like okay I got up wiped my tears and I started editing a brand new vlog and even that vlog the one that you i mean the the brutal food vlog i had lost so much footage there's so much good footage like b-roll um i had lost it like with the with the hard drive so even that was like so unbearable having to put out that vlog like that one it was so much shorter than it was going to be and two i had lost like uh, footage but anyway today i woke up i decided let me come to church let me see the day also if i stay at home i'm going to go crazy so i came to church and i'm so glad i, I came one they were talking about how we should be people who look ahead like the type of christians that we should be one we should look ahead and have hope for the future so that stuck with me and also they were talking about how we should be people who stick together people who stand firm and people who always serve god and for some reason as well i think my faith helps me in situations like this because one i feel like god has got me like there's not a single moment in my life where i felt like he doesn't have me even when things are not going well like i strongly believe that my prayers on friday did not go to bed even though i was praying for my hard drive to be fixed somehow god gave me peace like peace that supersedes all understanding because like i managed to go on which for me like that's crazy yeah but anyway people are looking at me crying in my car stand i know i'm like one jail but in the bujero i had drive <laughs> so long story short we'll have a lot more less vlogs than i thought we were gonna have i was planning on putting out 12 vlogs this this december um but it's not gonna work out like that at this point i'm doing the best i can 
and I think it is very important for me when I eventually go on holiday for me to unplug and then start afresh next year but I don't want to not say thank you so much you guys for all your support all your love when I vented about it in my Instagram stories you guys were so kind and so gentle with me and I'm so proud of the community that we've built for ourselves in this channel oh god okay I'm gonna stop talking now because I can't stop crying I had forgotten my watch. Wait for her. I forgot my watch there by Zizi's hotel. So I went to pick it up. Reunited and it feels so good. Okay, let's go. So I actually forgot about this watch. I remember today when I was getting dressed. But it was yam to go on. And this is my favorite watch. So I was like, I'll pick it up when I come back from church. And then, guys, I've, I've been in too much pain. Yeah? I've been in too much pain. I think I need something for the pain. I need something for the pain and something for christmas i've been i was gonna buy it anyway so right now we are going to waterfront i'm going to coach there's this bag that i've been wanting i thought i was gonna get it for my birthday but i ended up getting this one for my birthday if you remember and this one was like within budget at the time and the one i want was not within budget <laughs> and I also decided to get a laptop during that time so now it's time 
nothing like retail therapy to fix your spirits <laughs> jesus and retail therapy highly recommend those two things so now i'm going to uh like i said i'm going to coach i'm gonna buy a coach tabby i just haven't decided on a color there's three colors i was considering i was considering the black one the white one and the there's this brownish color that i saw when i was at zizi in joburg um in august so we're going to coach we'll decide on the color together and we'll go back home i'm so hungry i was thinking of going by tasha's and just give myself some lunch but i am meeting up with tutula later on in the day we're gonna do dinner so for me it doesn't make sense for me to eat out for dinner and then eat out eat out for lunch and then eat out for dinner it doesn't make sense so i'll get something small go home i want to take a shower before i go to dinner with like i want to feel i don't feel good i feel like i need a shower i would love to put on some makeup but then at this heat oh my god i don't know if makeup is a good idea let's go shopping Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing, when December is when the children are singing. Yeah, it's Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby The snow is laying two feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing When December is when the chill And I got my bag. It's now 10 past 4 and I'm meeting with Ukaika. Well, I have to leave here at 5. And to be honest, I don't know. I don't think we're going to do makeup today. But we'll see. Let me quickly jump in the shower. And then I'll show you guys the bag. I'll show you guys the bag either when I'm done taking the shower, if I still have time. And if I decide against wearing makeup. I will, I should have time. I'll show you guys the bag. Otherwise, I can show you the bag tomorrow morning. I'm ready. Fragrance of the night, Killian again. I'm in my Killian era. This is OOTD. This is the dress from Fushini. 
The bag is from Sheen. And I'm wearing these shoes. <laughs> Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky Guys! Hello, hello, hello! I'm oh. with my friend, you don't know, you guys can't see hello. us Hello! Hello! <laughs> I don't know if you guys still remember what Tutu is like now People love me, yes, my name is Tutu And welcome, welcome to, to the vlog <laughs> <laughs> We're going to grab late lunch at Bilboa. We saw so late for our reservation, not but that's all right. And by the drinks are just left. In Johnny, let's go. I'll be back. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't want to be shy Oh yeah 
yeah, I know it uh, All alone with mixed emotions Yeah Gotta keep my temper from running wild Need someone to hold my horses Yeah, I go hard, wanna find some peace So I pray to God to find a way to fix it all Back in my flu era, I woke up feeling horrible today. Absolutely horrible. And for some reason, I don't know why this flu won't leave me alone. But I have to rally. I have to rally because I am leaving Cape Town in like two days. And there's a couple of things I need to do before I leave. So unfortunately i have to be in the water that i am i am now going to get my hair done i'm going to do braids <laughs> i feel like i'm so in i loved i absolutely enjoyed being in my bobiana era but i feel like gizo sola gizo sola because I have to like flat iron my leave out and all that that means there's a lot more products i need to pack and the way my life is set up right now i want to be i don't want to struggle i don't want to struggle but first coffee i placed an order for my coffee while i was driving here because i'm a little bit late for my appointment i'm five minutes late we've already paid black white like, uh, let's say shows. and new nails hey guys hey guys i actually cannot believe i still haven't closed off this vlog but the main reason why i haven't closed off this vlog is because i was meant to show you guys the bag that we went and got from coach the other day today's a tuesday that was sunday when i got back i took a shower and i went for dinner with Ukaga my friend and then we got back my i think my battery died while we were at dinner and then she came home with me and we chilled a little bit and then she went back um yeah and then yesterday i was fighting for my life i don't know if you guys can hear but i'm actually a little bit i'm still a little bit congested hey i am i just got back from getting my wax done almost died but I'm so grateful to Upatience, my wax lady. She made sure that the girl is good. And you know what? The girl is now good. I also got braids done. Yes, was it yesterday? I got my braids done on Monday. And then I also got my nails done. I got the exact same nails that I had before, which is this red. I think this red is called ruby something it is so hot today i'm traveling to go see my man chair i just need a little bit of a downtime so before i go though i wanted to quickly come to get bang on i quickly wanted to come to access park 
I'm here now. I'm at Access Park. I wanted to get a carry-on. One thing about me, I don't have a carry-on. In all my suitcases, I have the big one. I have the medium size. I don't have the carry-on. And I'm tired of being a girl who walks around the airport with Imi Twilo. So, I usually get my suitcases here at Access Park. Because usually, you can negotiate and they tend to be a little bit cheaper than the main stores I'm also drinking some coffee just to get a powerful for the day the name of the shop that I get my suitcases at is called handbag luggage let me show you that is the name of the shop I don't know if you can see there. But that's the tea chat. It is so hot today. I actually cannot believe it. It's giving summer. Oh, Hi. Really? Oh, I see. Is this one the same as that one? Uh, this one is the same. This one. This one. Same and this one. Let's spend the whole Oh, I see what you say. This one says three. Yeah, you offer you two six. Two six is one. From me? Hey guys, hey guys. I'm getting ready to leave and I'm usually a girl that is on time when I travel but Sana this time around I'm not feeling well and on top of that I feel like I'm a disheveled little girl there's no way I was going to end off this vlog there is no way that I was going to leave Cape Town without giving you an unboxing remember earlier we also went to get the suitcase this is a carry-on suitcase I'm going to use it now the original price the reason why I say go to access park um, the original price for the suitcase was 3k but 2999 and we negotiated down to 2.6. Sometimes the way these guys be so willing to negotiate, I promise you, these are the original prices, the ones that we actually negotiate them to. And we walk away feeling like I got a deal. But anyway, I did get a deal. Guys, e luggage is so expensive. It shocks me. It shocks me every time. But anyway, I wanna be out of here in the next 15 minutes max and i still have to pack that carry on i'm done packing the big suitcase i just have to pack the important stuff in this carry on the important stuff includes my coach bag i already opened it for instagram but this is the babe this is the baby. This is my Christmas gift to myself and this is my something for the pain gift because I've been through a lot, I've been through a lot. I deserve it and I feel like I've worked so hard this year so we definitely needed something as a reward. Oh! <laughs> this is how it looks like inside. It also smells so good. They sprayed it with their fragrances. They also gave me some samples, some fragrance samples. I don't own any Coach um, fragrance. So this one is called Love. Oh man. What does it smell like? Ooh. That actually smells good. Okay, I'm not gonna taste the other ones. We are rushing. And then 
this is the bag it comes in this dust bag and you open it like so like so and it's the coach tabby in pebble leather in black this is the bag i feel like she is so me she's so stunning i love the thickness of the strap it adds to that element and then on the inside you get a long strap you can also use it as a shoulder bag and i love that it's adjustable and then you have these three compartments one two three and you have a zip love that so this is the new baby i love this bag so 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 much it's so beautiful i wasn't sure if i wanted this one or the brown one or the oh, or the white one um but i'm so happy with my choice now let's get out of here and before i leave i wanted to thank you guys for supporting me this year i love you guys so so much and i hope you enjoy your december holidays I hope you get the rest that you need and I will see you guys in the brand new year and hopefully we'll be revived, we'll be rested and we'll be ready to tackle the year. Please stay safe. Please, please, please make sure you're safe. Do not drink and drive. I beg. I want all of us to still be intact when we enter the new year. Now, travel with me to go see my babe and my man that is open me any <laughs> so travel with me i doubt i'll be vlogging um if i do great if i don't happy new year in advance i do love you guys so so much and i cannot wait to start the brand new year with the brand new goals with you i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye Bye.